Well, this thing's been making some funny noises and it's a lot of static. So I thought I was going to just take it apart and fix it. Let's see. But that's not going to happen, I don't think. I've never seen such microscopic resistors. And look, that's the foot switch. And look at these little resistors. Or I didn't know they made resistors that small. So this is the mini fuzz face. And I'm seriously wondering how this thing even works. It is so microscopic. There are the pots. I thought I was going to spray the pot. Because it's got some kind of strange static. Not really sure, but everything's sealed. I mean, these pots are sealed. You can't get in there at all. So, I mean, here's the DC jack, which I thought it might be the DC jack causing a ground problem. These are the input and output jacks, but, uh, you know, I just played it on battery and I still got the same static. Where it seems to be coming from is the volume pot. It's you know I can turn it and it'll cause the static and then it goes away. And there is really no way of getting any kind of contact cleaner in there unless I were to try to take the thing apart. But I just thought you would be interested to see all these teeny weeny components. Uh, capacitor, capacitor trim pot to adjust the bias on the transistors, and there are the transistors, the germanium ones. Where are they? Not sure what kind I use. Either way, here's the foot switch. Not going to be able to do much to it. I think they make these things disposable. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, this is just to show you what I had to do to get this thing apart. It's not easy. I had to rip this rubber off to get the nut loose there. It just kind of sticks on there. Potentiometers. But I mean, to get this thing to go in there, that she goes like this. It's a pretty tight fit, and then the battery goes right here. If you use a battery, yeah, it goes back easier than it comes apart. Fuzz face. Mini. Talk to you later.